Beautiful morning. It's low tide. All right, I'm gonna start cooking breakfast. I'm gonna get a little closer to the shallow water there so I can make breakfast very close to the land. How beautiful this looks. Got about two feet of water here. All right, we'll start cooking breakfast. It's about nine in the morning and it's really hot outside. It's gotta be at least 90 plus. I feel that vapor. Uh, we're in the middle of the summer. Look at that beautiful mangrove there growing on the rocks so it's really hot there's no way I can turn the air conditioner here you got to keep it running uh, once I get off the island now I'll shut everything down but now for cooking breakfast make it real comfortable um, I'm gonna keep it on all right today's breakfast is gonna be one of my favorites American breakfast is bacon eggs pancakes and maybe a little bit of toast Bacon. Looks like it's low tide, so it's 1.5 feet. Doesn't look like it's gonna go any lower than that. 1.5. Alright, got the bacon ready. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make two toasts, two eggs, and some bacon on top. I'm gonna save some of this bacon for later. Maybe for a snack. There you go. Perfect sandwich. Look at that. Cholesterol free. Two eggs, two toasts, and some bacon. Same as yesterday, but different arrangement. All right. Too many things to do. There we go. With this, I don't think I need a lunch. There's some clouds moving in, but hopefully they'll move fast. And they look like they're moving fast. And over there in the front too. Mm. 
I made that coffee strong. Look at those beautiful pancakes. Came out better than yesterday. See, some people don't like to be alone. Um, I like to be alone some of the times. Yes, a peace and quiet. It's not like I'm not a people person, but I like peace and quiet once in a while. But look at this, this is the only place that you can really go out there, either that in the forest or the desert, that you can go and have some peace and quiet by yourself. And nothing better than a place like this. The Exuma Islands are real nice. They're nicer, a little bit nicer than uh, the Berry Islands. But the distance is so far. I mean, I got beat up 160 miles to get here. So Exumas is like 250 miles or more. That's something that I don't want to do uh, anytime soon. I, I'm planning to do it one day, but only in fuel, the cost will be like $1,500 for this boat. Uh, in this trip, I'm gonna spend close to probably about $800 on fuel for this trip. And Exumas is about twice as far, depending on weather. So that would be a total of $1,600. Just on few, that's not counting customs, uh, any, any other arrangements that you have to do. It's very expensive. I've been making ice every night. The cooler is full of ice. Later on, I'm gonna go fishing. As a matter of fact, I think it's better for me to go fishing now and come back later here to the blue hole. I think it's better to go fishing first. And look at this guys, I ran out of coffee. And look how convenient this is. Coffee machine is right next door. Look at that. I don't even have to leave the pilot house. So, oh, it's bigger. Doesn't mean it's gonna be better. Look, I can reach my coffee machine from here. This is incredible. Right by the captain wheelhouse, I have my coffee machine right there. going fishing I'm not gonna hang around here right now I'm gonna go fishing I think it's fishing prime time right now after I go fishing right around the corner about less than a mile I'll come back here and I'll have dinner here all right here we go about two feet of water here now we're getting up to three lower the engine a little bit there we go all right let's go fishing got to follow this little trail through here it's kind of shallow because it's low tide 5.7 feet here. Still a little shallow for this area. Still a little shallow here. If you look here, you gotta follow. Around the rocks, there's a little opening. I think the current opened it up. So you gotta follow this little all the way around to get out. So it's not that deep. But the current, it looks like it, they opened up uh, quite a bit of trench here. It's only about probably about a foot bigger to two feet bigger. Look at those colors. This is another way that you can go to the blue hall. That little beach there. is the closest to the blue hole. 
yeah, if you don't hug that line that I show you, you're gonna hit bottom here. I mean, here you see places that have about six inches of water. I stayed right at this position. Um, I stayed right here. The time that I came in, this is where I slept, right here. Look at this, look at the sharp platter, three feet. And we're really, really close to the rocks. So when I come back, hopefully it's high tide. Cause this is really shallow to here. If you look that way, you can see almost sand right there. It's about, probably about six inches, there's sand. So you can hit a sandbar real easy here, but follow your sharp plotter the best you can. Look at this entry here. Look at that. You're really close to the rocks. And then turn around here. And we're almost out, out of the channel. There's a sandbar right here in front of us. So this is the tricky part. It's a sandbar right there. So you gotta be careful with that. I can see it. Looks like the sea is going to be a little upset today. Beautiful beach there. There's another beautiful beach there in the front of the too. But here, you have to be careful because there's a lot of current. Yeah, the tide is really low. It's three feet lower than normal. All right, I know a little spot here. Then I'm gonna set the Minn Kota. And I'll be fishing right on top of some rock structure here. Right in front there, look at that. Right there in the path there. The ocean is too rough. Definitely cannot fish around here. Gonna go back up to some rocks. Definitely you cannot fish around here. It's too rough. Find a better spot that is protected because this is way too rough. All right, we're set here at 14 feet.
All right, perfect. Start fishing. All right, here goes nothing. See what happens here. nothing yet I got two poles out one is about four feet off the ground and the other one's all the way to the ground well I can't go out there because it's really rough if it comes down a little bit I'll go I'm gonna go for it. It looks like it's coming down a little bit. I'll try to head to uh, deeper waters. A little rough. I see swells of four to five feet. Look at that. Look at that swell right there. Yeah, the Minn Kota's gonna have to work real hard here. Yeah, there's no way to go fishing here. I gotta go back. This is uh, kind of suicidal. Swells of six feet. Yep, too big. You know, from far, you, you don't see those swells like that. You don't see them from far. Well, you always gotta try. I'm gonna go back to Half Man Cave, which is the calmest spot to be. And uh, just relax. Got a couple of beers in the fridge. And just explore, enjoy the uh, cave there. That's beautiful there. Different colors of the water. If you don't look at the colors of the water, you see right there, there's a, a lighter color. Right down the right. See that there? That's like probably a foot and a half, and you don't see that at nighttime at low tides or when it's cloudy. If you don't see that, you're gonna be in trouble. So now we have to hug the, uh, the rocks here. This is the only way to get through here. Four and a 
half feet here. beautiful day no storms but it's hard to fish so it's island time now Listen to that, it's so quiet here. Look at this. You got one feet under the keel there. The tide has gone down about four feet, it looks like. This is an amazing place. It always has. Every time I come here, amazing place. Listen to the birds. Now, at this time of day, there's no noceums. You don't feel them at all. And sometimes the turtles will come up here. You can see them feeding right there. everything ready I'm at 1.9 feet here I'll leave it here got to change that battery Beautiful here. Look at this. You got shade. I think right here will be perfect. Remember the piece of bacon that I saved? little lizards they're trying to get my food they get close to me and they want to eat my food I already gave them a piece of bacon but they still want some more Yeah. 
Viernes para la mañana. All right, already call work. And I have also had to call my family to let them know where I'm at. I go with my dad is freaking out because there's a storm at Bimini. But I'm 90 miles away from Bimini. I'm in paradise right here. Look at this. I feel like getting an island. This is an awesome island. Look at the color of the water there. Coco Cay is way over there. Grey Harbor Key is over there. And Chub Key is that way. Way over there, like maybe uh, it's 15, 20 miles out. And look, when the water goes up, it goes up all the way up to here. And you can tell, you can tell that that's a four foot drop right here. High tide to low tide, four foot drop. That is huge. All right, it's time to go to the blue hole. Time to go. All right, and I got this lotion my wife gave me. Um, the lotion, it repels bugs. So that is awesome. So quiet in here. Ah, it smells really good in here too. It's not like cow manure. It's more like green trees. But it has a little hint of cow manure. Check out the lizard. Oh my god, they got some crazy lizards here. Look at that. Crazy color lizards. Oh, smells like so much oxygen here. Check out the lizard. They got some weird crazy lizards here. And of course something happens. I got my trusty knife right there. Yep, something happens. I can stab myself. I mean, I can stab whatever goes in front of me. Oh shoot. Look at that. Yeah, it's better to bring shoes here than sandals. Beautiful tree. It's a long walk, I think it's about probably less than a quarter mile. I don't see any big animals here. All right, there it is. The beautiful blue hole. Wow. That is crazy. I can see some jellyfish. Um, it looks like the salt water has a tunnel underneath the ground. Then when the tide goes up, you can tell the tide goes up here too. There's a foot foot drop. 
So when the tide goes up, it goes up here too. So it is part of the ocean. I saw a turtle here once I came once. It's beautiful. All right, let's go this way because it looks like this way there's no way of uh, climbing up from the blue hole. This is the way to go down on the blue hole here. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this. I was standing up right above here. And look at all the crater down here. So basically, all this is removed. And I was standing right up here at this edge. So this is gonna fall one day. Oh, this is so cool here. I have never been down here. There's a cave down there. Beautiful. That was a big punch. That was an awesome plunge. Alright guys, I'm going to take a little break now so I can catch my breath. And if you like this video, please thumb it up. Thank you for watching and I'll continue this trip on the next video. Navigate safe.